West Antarctica's vast ice sheet hides the largest volcanic region on Earth. This is what research reveals. This is what's causing this part of Antarctica to melt so quickly. It's the volcanic activity. This is by Science Daily, University of Edinburgh. West Antarctica's vast ice sheets conceals what may be the largest volcanic region on the Earth, new research has revealed. The continent's ice sheets cover almost 100 newly discovered volcanoes, the largest of which is as tall as the Eiger in Switzerland. This is what the new study has found. Geologists and ice experts say the range has many similarities to East Africa's volcanic ridge, which is currently acknowledged to be the densest concentration of volcanoes in the world. Researchers from University of Edinburgh remotely surveyed the underside of the ice sheet for hidden peaks of basalt rock, like those of other volcanoes in the region whose tips push above the ice. They analyzed the shape of the land beneath the ice using measurements from ice penetrating radar and compared the findings with satellite and database records as well as geological information from aerial surveys. Scientists found 91 previously unknown volcanoes ranging in height from 100 to 3,850 3, meters. The peaks are concentrated in a region known as the West Antarctic Rift System. Uh, 3,850, uh, 3, that's over 13, 14,000 feet in height. The peaks are concentrated in a region known as the West Antarctic Rift System spanning 3,500 kilometers from Antarctica's Royce Ross Ice Shelf to the Antarctic Peninsula. Results from the study, which is the first of its kind, will help scientists understand how volcanoes can influence long-term fluctuations in the ice sheet. Well, of course, because they're, they're causing it to melt. They could also help improve understand of how the continent has changed during past climates. Their results do not indicate whether the volcanoes are active, but should inform ongoing research into seismic monitoring in the area. Volcanic activity may increase if Antarctica's ice thins, which is likely in a warming climate, scientists say. Previous studies and the concentration of volcanoes found in the region together suggest that activity may have occurred in previous warmer periods. The study published in the Geological Society Special Publication Series proposed by a third-year undergraduate student at the University of Edinburgh. Dr. Robert Bingham, University of Edinburgh School of Geosciences says, it's fascinating to uncover an extensive range of volcanoes in this relatively unexplored continent. Better understanding of volcanic activity should shed light on their impact on Antarctica's ice in the past present and future, and on other rift systems around the world. Max van Wyck de Vries, a student at the University of Edinburgh School of Geosciences who conceived the study, said, Antarctica remains among the least studied areas of the globe, and as a young scientist, I was excited to learn about something new and not well understood. After examining existing data on West Antarctica, I began discovering traces of volcanism. Naturally, I looked into it further, which led to this discovery of almost 100 volcanoes under the ice sheet. This is on Science Daily by University of Edinburgh. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. 
more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.